That is right. We are playing the first Clock Tower. Uh, the Clock Tower series is a game um, game series that I've been interested in playing a little bit. Um, I've seen. I think it's the Super Best Friends. I, I'm. I think they've played a bit of it. Um, they didn't. They never did like a full playthrough. They did like the a quick look at the series. Um, classic horror games. You think of like Resident Evil, Silent Hill, and then you know, the further you go on, you know, there's Clock Tower and other examples uh, that I can't think of right now. <laughs> so yeah, we're starting with uh, the first game, Clock Tower: The First Fear. So, Clock Tower, the first game, was originally released on the Super Nintendo, um, but they never, like, yeah, that was released on the Super Nintendo, and then when the PlayStation came out, they made, they did, like, a remake of it, or not remake, but they ported the game onto the PlayStation, but for some reason, only in Japan, but we got ourselves a little uh, uh, translated version of that. So we're playing the port, the PlayStation port, um, uh, translated. So <laughs> it's a little, little, uh, little nutso. Not nutso, what's the word? Uh, convoluted, but we are here. This series will probably have a lot more editing. Um, mostly just kind of like to cut through like all the very slow walking and stuff because if you run that affects like your character's health or um scared level or whatever it is so you're you can only really run or you can only really walk i guess is what i meant to say um you know run if you have to of course but mostly just walking uh and yeah, as you can tell, there's multiple endings. We're going to try to like just do a blind playthrough first, and then we'll see if we want to do any more after that. And at some point through the, the, the channels, uh, through the channel, we're going to go through the other Clock Tower games as well. But um, that, it might not, we might not, not necessarily go Clock Tower 1, 2, 3. It might be like, you know, I might play different games in between. The way I kind of determine these things is I, like, roll up random numbers on a, a spreadsheet I have, and we kind of just go from there. So, yeah, and as you can see, there is a cursor here. Uh, no, no, I think there was, like, a mouse add-on for the PlayStation a long time ago and the Super Nintendo, but no. We, we are using digital controls, which, if you've never had a PlayStation, <laughs> well gonna show my age here but basically when the playstation first came out they only had like these digital controllers which were basically you think of like the classic playstation analog controller without the analogs essentially it's just the the d-pad and the buttons and then i can't remember how quick i, I think it was like a year or two afterwards uh, sorry i think it was like a year or two after the digital controller came out that they came up with the analog controller because I remember a big uh factor for it was uh ape escape in ape escape you like will capture a monkey and then spin the analog stick around and i think it also had vibration support too but that that's we're kind of getting <laughs> off into the weeds now but a little fun little fun history lesson for you um but yeah let's just get started and like i said there's going to be some editing, so don't, you know, just to kind of, like, make this more palatable for everybody involved, including me. <laughs> I think square is the button that they like here. Yep, that's the one. <gasps> Raised in the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends were unexpectedly wanted as adopted daughters. In September of that year, all right, we got a picture of everybody walking on the path. Laura, hurry up! We need to get there before it gets dark. Miss Mary. Hmm. 
kind of house will we be living in soon? Hee <laughs> hee. Now that's the fifth time this evening. You don't need to worry though. It's a gorgeous mansion. Not long now, I think. See? For, like, I think this is basically the Nintendo version as well. Like, this is, like, the pixels ripped from that, so, or the Super Nintendo version. So it's actually pretty impressive for what it could, what it could do at the time. Correct me if I'm wrong in the, in the comments down below. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a lot of a lot of quiet too. What a large house. True. It's so huge and this is only the foyer. As I'm your teacher, I'll go to greet the owner of the mansion. Everyone, stay put. <laughs> She used to walk very loudly. Now, now she's learned to quiet her heels using ancient technology. All right, now we are in the game. Let's uh, talk to our friends, see what they think. Hey, Anne. You're wondering what kind of person Mr. Burroughs is. Right? Yeah. Uh, that's it? That's the whole thing? Okay. It's an ordinary table. Somehow. Huh? It's just so big I can't stand it. That's what she said. That's what she... That's what she said. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. <laughs> it's so empty here. I'll never get used to it. Lot, don't be such a wimp. Da, da, da. Okay. I played a little bit of this beforehand to make sure everything works okay and uh, all that jazz and it seems like yeah that we're doing pretty good oh actually hold on I need to save uh, clock tower is one of those classic uh, Kind of like those um, adventure games like, uh, what's it called, like King's Quest or whatever. There are a lot of, there's a lot of uh, places you can go to that will just instantly kill you or you'll just get murdered for some reason. So, <laughs> like, like I said, when I was uh, checking this out earlier, I came across a parrot. I was like, okay, let's see what we can do with a parrot. And you open up the cage and the parrot just kills you for some reason, somehow. It won't open. I want to open. So. Yeah. So there'll be a lot of saves coming. So don't. <laughs> don't you know, be, be aware of that. It is pixelated. It is an older game. But there is still murder and stuff happening. And a lot of um, visually disturbing things. So. Hey, maybe you can go and find a teacher. I wonder what's up with our teacher. Miss Mary sure is taking a while. Do you want me to go look for her? No. No, I'll look for her. Now, oh, cutscene time. It's, co it's coming from the main foyer. Now we've unlocked running. 
which will kill you. <laughs> Guys? Hey, stop joking around. Dot, dot, dot. It's an ordinary table. Guys? Going to check this door again. Question mark? It won't open. Can we turn on the light? No, oh, nice. Okay, cool. Well, let's explore. I know the upstairs is a dead end, so we'll just keep going this way. Also, the stair climbing <laughs> animation <laughs> is even slightly slower than the walking animation. So this is <laughs> it's a buckle up, kiddos. <laughs> and like I said, I'll do a blind playthrough. But if we ever, if I get like too stuck at some point, I'll I'll find a some kind of guide. But um, for now, we'll just see what we're what we can do here. Nope. Oh. oh, oh, okay. Well, no. oh yeah, I gotta press triangle to stop. Should I just check out this door? What's in here? The lights are out. That's weird. I wonder where the light switch is. So, I opened up the door in the, the hallway before, and uh, it led to this exact same room. So that's very interesting. Oh. Um. I think I'm going to go. I don't think I want anything to do with that that TV. Now let's see what's behind this door. If it that was that door or that room, then this is yeah. This is the room with a parrot. Now we are not going to open up the parrot. We're not going to free the parrot from its cage. Something or other. Spooky. There is a small bottle of perfume. Dot, dot, dot. It's the same as our teachers, Miss Mary's. I, I forgot to do her voice. Got a bottle of perfume. Oh, God. Okay, nothing bad happened there. All right, we are not freeing the parrot, so we are going to avoid the parrot. This is a no parrot run. But yeah, it looked like that picture had like a. It's kind of hard to tell with the pixels and stuff, but like a. It was like a smashed picture of maybe like a couple of kids or something. Or something. Let's see what's behind door number three. Ooh, it's so steamy in here. I don't know what that bright light's happening. I don't know why, why that bright light's happened. <laughs> the water seems to be running. Can I get in here? Okay. Let's check the toilet. I don't want to, though. <laughs> Okay, that's fair. It's probably a bad idea, but let's check behind the shower curtain. Oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Laura? Oh. Uh oh, what's that? Oh shit, it's the scissor man. Run. Run. Open the door. Oh, oh god. L L Laura? Run. No good. Okay. Some creepy ass music. Let's try this door. You could walk a little bit faster when you're getting chased. Dummy. I don't know how to make her just stop running. Okay. Door seems to be blocked by something. Alright. Dot dot dot. Seems to be locked. Uh oh. So no scissor man still. So we might be okay for a little bit. I don't know. The music is still happening though, so. I can't get her to stop running, so we're gonna. Oh! Alright. I wonder if, like, having, like, the red is, like, um. increases your chances of being tripped or something. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 Ow. I was gonna say, that was just a stab. Okay. So we're going to try that again. Alright, we're back here. After our friends screamed in the foyer. Or foyer. However you would like to pronounce it. up again. We're going to just keep going left until um, until we're stopped, basically. Seems like if we investigate certain things or if we uh, do something wrong, we'll activate the scissor, scissor lad and then um, we will be in trouble. The music is happening. It's very reminiscent of uh, Halloween, kind of. Or is it Halloween? No, yeah, Friday the Thirteenth. No, which are ones the? Um, nope. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh, he's doing like a fucking. <laughs> Run! Oh god. Run faster. Jesus. Okay. Um. <laughs> like a falling impaler. <laughs> okay, well, since he's activated now, we might be able to hide in the shower curtain this time. I locked the door from the inside. Yeah, you got it. Get in the shark room, hi. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. I know there's like a fighting mechanic of some sort. I'm gonna have to look something up real quick. Okay, we are back again. Uh, I have discovered the panic button. So hopefully that's a thing. Oh, hold on. 
Let me make sure I can see my recording just in case anything goes crazy. Okay, so there is like almost like a roguelike um, element to this game where there's just like random like events change between each play or each, yeah, each playthrough and the um, rooms are in different places. Excuse me. So I yeah, had to make use of the panic button this time. Although this seems to be the same. That the bathroom is there. And I guess this is probably like uh, ending based, like here. Like I know there's like multiple endings. Um, and it seems like Laura dies first in the bathroom and Anne dies first here with the, the falling impaler. Falling beautifully at three frames a second. Oh God, run. You gotta go. All right, so bathroom was a bust. Let's try hiding in here. How did he get, okay, that's fine. We can like loop around them or something. Oh, wrong way. Oh, you're walking so slow for a man with giant scissors chasing you. <laughs> we seem to have outplayed him for now. I'm doing a quick save here. Try to go to this door instead. The last door, I think, yeah, if I remember, they end up being like a uh, locked. Oh, this is all locked too. Okay. It won't open. Oh, please take your time. <laughs> There's just, just life and death on, on the line here. No, no big deal. I don't remember this one. Was this the hallway with the locked rooms? I forget. It was, okay. Okay, I guess let's try the stairs. I'm only gonna do the stair animations once so you can see how slow this is. And just appreciate how much work I do to edit this out. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to meddle. I just want, um... No, I want to meddle, actually. Never mind. Fuck that. I want to meddle. I want to meddle for going up and down the stairs on Clock Terror, the first fear. I, I deserve a fucking medal. <laughs> I don't know what kind of medal it'd be. I guess a medal of, uh, slowness. <laughs> the medal of patience. There we go. For your brave conduct in enduring Clock Tower the First Fears uh, stair animations, we reward Zack the Fist Cake with the Medal of Patience. Alright, here's something. Ooh, an open, an open doorway. Let's 
what's over here? Uh, okay, so when the thing flashes, you're supposed to press the panic button. Get out of here, Scissor Man. So does that mean he's gone for now? Huh. Well, that might be worth a save as well. <laughs> Saves coming. Do, 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 do. Saves coming. Boo, 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 boo. While we're here, I'll check out this room. There's some, there's some rope here. Got a rope. And we had to wait for her to slowly walk back out here and then slowly walk to the cabinet. <laughs> Broken tableware is stored inside. It seems like it has not been used. How can you tell table where is stored inside there? It's a cabinet. Laura, are you psychic? It's empty. It's a canister of insecticide. Picked up insecticide. Oh, we're already here, so we might as well just keep exploring this hallway. Okay. There's nothing there. Can you walk around it? Okay, you can. All right, cool. Oh, this is interesting. What's, what is this? Seems to be a bird's nest. Anything else? Seems to be a bird's nest. Okay. Well, yeah, why would you? Maybe if I mash the panic button. What was. So now the bird. <laughs> okay. So, so now the bird is aware. The bird, the bird's like, "Hey, get your grimy stick off my frickin' nest." Oh wait, yeah, I think I have to calm. I think I have to like literally sit still for a second for my panic meter to go down. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Cool, all right. You think it would calm down while you're walking as well, but I guess, I guess Laura consider, consider, considers this like a very, a very fast walk. She's speed walking. <laughs> well, we should definitely answer that. Is it like the scissor man, like, gonna come out of the telephone and cut her head off? <laughs> Where is the phone? It seems like it's coming out of the right ear. Maybe not. Honestly, I don't even remember seeing a phone anywhere so oh god what if it's upstairs I did forget to check the other side <sighs> where are you going oh my god there's nothing up there oh my god <laughs> kill me 
please. And it's not like all the any of these doors are unlocked now. It seems to be locked. And maybe it's possibly coming this from this way. No, now the sound is gone, so I guess we'll just explore. Now I wonder if um, there's going to be a body here, or if, if it's just a just a plain old bathtub. Well, that's just a plain old bathtub. I seem to be able to use the shower. Oh yeah, there was that one room with the perfume in it. Maybe we'll go see if we can grab that. And we I don't think we looked at the the photograph in this playthrough, so let's check that out. Maybe that'll trigger something as well. Something or other. Yeah, it looks like two ch like two babies. There's a small bottle of perfume. Tight, tight, tight. It's the same as our teachers, Miss Mary's. Got a bottle of perfume. Actually, I will make that a, another save spot just in case. I don't mess around with saving them with these older games. I don't <laughs> I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. And I wonder if that, I wonder if this room is still going to be spooky. I guess we could have explored that real quick, but we'll just check it out from out here. The lights are out. I wonder where the lights are. Switch, light switch, cha cha cha. Lights on. What's in the box? There is a key. Oh, shit. Nice. Pocketed the West Wing key. Oh, hey. That's pretty handy. All right. Do I want to check out the spooky painting? No. Nope. Maybe we need to turn this off? My gut instincts tells me we shouldn't mess with the TV, but okay. It appears to be broken. I wonder if it's not being used. I wonder if it's not being used. What is that even? The, the table? Or the room in general? I don't, I don't know. I did get another item, but that's not, you know, that's not going to be too hard to get back to. So if we got the West Wing key, I guess we can unlock a door or something in that uh, hall, that big area that we ran before. 
So we shall go check it out. And we're back and there's that goddamn ringing. Can't check out the the glass. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine. I imagine I probably have to do the old adventure game thing of using the item. No, I can just probably open a door if it's locked. Dot, dot, dot. I want to open. Crazy, were we, were we able to... Oh, that's right, this is the kitchen. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see, there's multiple things to check out here. Gas bottles for a stove are lined up. Dishes are stored inside. I feel like if we check out this giant fridge, maybe something's going to pop up, but... Maybe we should check out what's inside the regular fridge first. One leg of ham is contained inside. Got some ham. <laughs> You're just taking the ham. Okay. All right. It's a calendar. There is a mark on today's date. Oh, yeah, it's a big, big important day. There's something shiny at the back. Ah! Bugs! Uh-oh. Get out of there, Jennifer. Or, yeah, I think that's your name, right? Run, Jennifer, run! Oh, wait, I bet I was supposed to use the insecticide. I am a silly billy. Now calm down. Plop down. Take a break. Go ahead, plop down. Um Is this the insecticide? Sprayed the insecticide. I sprayed the insecticide. Nice. A key fell down. Pocketed golden key. Oh, hey, that, that's pretty good. I, I, I like making uh, some decent progress. Definitely made a save after that one. We'll head out into this hallway here and uh, plop down so, we're, so we're, um, Jennifer can re repair her panic. All right, Jennifer, go ahead and plop down. You can plop down now. Jennifer, take a five? No? Okay. I don't know what that means, but, um, whatever. Oh, 
Oh shit, a car. The car's ignition key is missing. That would be too easy. There's some sort of key. It's a car key. Oh. Well, hey. Park it a car ignition key. Wait, what was that? Oh, it looked like you could check the bottom out, but I guess not. Can we just take the car? The car's ignition key is missing. Yeah, use the key. Um, okay, I guess I have to use the key on the car. With this car, I might be able to get out of a bay. But everyone else is. Maybe we're not allowed to leave? What should I do? That's the third time's the charm, and you just drive through the thing. <laughs> well, that was too quick. I wonder... I'm a little suspicious. Da -da 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 -da. Original production version. Game design, Hifumi Kono. Programming, Naoki Sanada. I, I bet for sure this is not like an official ending. I bet like, you know, we'll, 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 we'll let this play out for a minute though. Uh, well, yeah, here, <laughs> a mildly suspicious angle. <laughs> oh my god, even this ending is slow. Eek! Oh my god. She got scissored. <laughs> All right, I duly noted, but maybe at some point we do have to use the car, so we'll grab those keys. Okay, we are back in the car room. This time we're just going to grab the key and explore in here. There's some sort of key. It's a car key. Pocketed car ignition key. All right. I wonder if there's anything up here. I don't think so. No, it does not look like there's anything to touch here. I thought it chugged for a second. I thought, I thought the scissor man was happening. 
Although if he does appear here, this is going to be a little difficult since we're kind of in a trapped hallway here. Or not a trapped hallway, but we're in a... Um, like if he's coming from the, the main room or whatever, it'll be difficult to avoid him. So we have, we have some other key. I have no idea what this is. I, I forget. Oh, that that's the rope. Okay. So perfume, eh, key, rope. Um, I already forgot what this could be. Oh, it's the ham. That's the ham. <laughs> that took me a second. That's the ham. Let's see if we can use the West Wing key on any of these doors. I think there's a couple locked in here, at least one. <sighs> Question mark? The door seems to be blocked by something. All right, this door was blocked, but the other door is locked. One's blocked, one's locked. Block, lock, and two smoking barrels. <laughs> oh, God. Um. Oh. Okay. So we did use the key, but it did not like have anything, any kind of special prompt or whatever. It's a little hard for me to navigate these like uh, 2D adventure games, like in the, like get my sense of direction kind of figured out. But I mean, we'll we'll just keep exploring. So it's no big deal. Like I was trying to like mentally map it out, map it out just like a second ago. I'm like I don't quite. If it's this is from the four, like let's see. That'd be too hard to explain. Okay, got a piano. Got some crazy shit going on in here. Let's turn the light on. My light switch must be broken. All right, no lights. I feel like if I press the piano, he's going to be alerted. Oh. That for sure must mean he's alerted, right, or something? Oh, no. Dot, dot, dot. A metal cane is stuck in the celadon pot. Obtain cane. That has to be the record player, right? Is it? It's hard to tell if this is like background music or this is... Ouch, my ears. The music. Okay, I thought we were about to get killed by the music. There's only junk inside. Try it. Shh. That's playing a very scary game. You gotta be quiet. That doesn't mean you're 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 invited to hang out. I paid attention to Cat's brother, so of course she is walking over here strutting like, Hey, oh, Dad's paying attention to us. If only I could have a crumb of attention from my father. He only pays attention to me about 90% of his day. Sigh. I wish I could get more attention from him. But alas, I'm a poor petite puppo. Just a tiny orphan puppy. 
Oh, now I guess that hurt her feeling she's walking upstairs. <laughs> Maybe she's going to see if her mom will give her any, any crumb of attention. Whoa. Books. The light switch is broken. All right, seems like... A lot of light switches are broken in this. Books are lined up. Books are lined up here. This book is hard to read. Okay. What about this? A book filled with meaningless symbols. Um, <laughs> there's a, a tiny man with scissors chasing you. Do you think there's anything meaningless in here? There's some, some technical books mixed in here. This pile of books on the floor. Quite a lot of what seems to be old magazines. A maternity magazine. A book filled with meaningless symbols. What's this? There seems to be a fairly deep crack. Uh oh. There seems to be something shiny at the back. I guess you could touch it, unless maybe we can grab it with the... Let's do a quick save here. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what happens if we just touch it again. Seems to be a fairly deep crack. Uh, um, maybe we can use the rope? Seems to be for, yeah, I know. That's why I got the rope. Okay. Maybe we have to use the cane? Okay. Jennifer, you're, you're not getting it, all right? We'll just get out of here for now. So there's something in the crack, in the back of the crack in the book room. <laughs> Also, I should probably let her plop down and rest if, if she'll do it this time. Oh. Go ahead, Jennifer, take a five. Are you just going to always have that high state of panic? All right, let's see what's in this uh, doorway. Hopefully I don't get stabbed by some giant scissors. Okay, just a pile of debris. Anything special? Anything special in the debris? Outside seems to be the mansion's courtyard. Okay, that's, I guess, handy. I don't know. see how, how much. Oh, a statue. Statue's got big bazongas. Oh my god. <laughs> For a Super Nintendo game. <laughs> oh. Cat's back. Guess who's back? Back, back again. Again. Kitty's back. Back. What is this? Looks like some kind of scuffle. Is this glass or feathers? The bed doesn't seem to have been used. Okay, I'll be the judge of that. What is what is all this stuff, though? I feel like you're not going to explain it to me if I... The bed doesn't seem to be in use. Can we shed some light on this situation? Nope. The light switch is broken.
try thought about chewing on his bone. Don't chew it. Charlie. Shh. Gotta be quiet for a little bit, okay? Oh god, what's happening here? Hello, sweetheart. Hi, daughter. Hi, puppy girl. Okay. It's a dead crow! That's okay. We got a bunch of dead crows here. Somebody's. Are they making crow milk in here? <laughs> a dead crow has been hung here. A crow's head has been cut off completely. Um. Okay. Who who is who is making crow milk in here? There's one crow inside. There's one crow inside. A number of rats are running around. Okay. That's odd. Oh, we can't free the crow? Oh, I mean... When I was looking into the finding, like, art for the game, which I, I hope, fingers crossed, I think this is, like, official arts on the side that I have here. Um, maybe I'll turn a light on if it works. Anyway, so I was looking for like official art for the game to have like on the side, and uh, there was like a comic that they made for like the the first sphere. There's one crow inside. Okay. Anyway, so in the comic, like there's like some hints and stuff as to like what you can do in the game. And there's like, apparently you can like free a crow and it helps you out at some point, but I guess we'll just turn the light on and uh, let, let, I don't know, I guess they can see all their dead crow friends. I don't, why would you cut up so, crows? So there's nothing left that way, okay. I'm going to see again if she'll, okay, there you go. Cool. Sweet. So it's fine, Jennifer. It's just a bunch of dead crows. No big deal. All right. Back to our journey. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll call it there. I don't think I'm going to find anything super... Well, I might, but you never know. I think ending on the, the, the mystery of the crow... This is a pretty good idea, or a pretty good stopping point. So what do we know so far? Um, we're an orphan woman, or an orphan girl. I think we're like 14 or something. We, her name is Jennifer something. Um, we, were, we, are, we are in this mansion to be adopted by a Mrs. Burroughs. As we uh, enter the mansion, we lost our teacher... And then we lost all of our friends. And then we for sure saw Anne get killed. One of our friends, Anne, get killed by the sis the scissor man. Who is a short little guy with giant scissors. We also have a cane, a rope, a car ignition key, which if we try to leave via the car, scissor man gets us in the end. And we got our teacher, Miss Mary's perfume. I'm trying to think of other story stuff. We have all these dead crows. I don't know what the deal is with that. I, I guess maybe somebody likes to eat crows? I don't know why you would like to eat... I, I don't understand what kind of diet you would have that would, that would you would want to eat crows. Again, it could just be uh, fight milk or whatever from It's Always Sunny. You just kind of use those crow enzymes to make a, a giant fighter. Um, what else? Oh, we used a stick to, like, I guess hit some nest of a crow or some kind of bird inside the house. 
Um, not, yeah, I think that's about it so far. I, this is kind of interesting. And, like, I really do, like, it is a very slow game. But, like, when the music hits and, like, you're kind of, like, in this fight or flight situation with the, the scissor man. I, my heart my heart picked up a little bit. It was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. You're actually going to get killed by scissor man. And it's not like you. it's a scary uh, death or anything. You just kind of get, like, pushed by the scissor man and you die. But <laughs> it's still kind of... It's still a little spooky. It kind of freaks you out a little bit. They yeah, have a really good music. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to, to play this some more and see what the mystery is behind the clock tower. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode. <laughs> Bye-bye.